kind of overcast. It's supposed to rain. It probably will. Aha, there I are. I'm not running on all cylinders today. I went to bed on time or a little early. Got up in the middle of the night. Couldn't get back to sleep. My neck hurt. Wah, 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 wah. Smallest violin plays sad songs for me. Ha ha. Anyway. <clears throat> I did get some sleep, I think. I'm pretty sure I did, but I... Not quality, that's for sure. Uh, yesterday I stopped by the store, got some cat food, and then I also bought one of those already cooked chickens in a bag. I had... A chicken breast yesterday for supper and then the rest of it the another the other side of the chicken breast the other chicken breast I put in the freezer and labeled it and all the other parts the the drumstick meat the wing meat the back meat and all that thigh and all that I chopped up and I made chicken salad with it and it's pretty good it'll taste even better tomorrow when everything has a chance to absorb the flavors of each ingredient Brian's gone to get Spencer. He's off today. He went to get Spence. I don't know if he'll get to play outside before it rains or not. Probably a little bit. Uh, what did I get done? Not a whole lot. Some dishes. I have some chili. Oh, yesterday when I went to the store, I also at Walmart found they had about a dozen corned beefs left. I guess people that go to Walmart don't eat corned beef, I guess. I found the cheapest one I could, and it was halfway decent looking meat. 14, a little over $14 for it. I'll be making that probably tomorrow in the electric cook pot. Uh, I don't have an oven, but it seems to work just fine. If I need to crisp it, I'll just put it in the air fryer, which is basically a hot plate upside down. That's basically what it is. It's a coil, a heat coil. And a little fan. That's that's all it is. Anyway, that's taken care of. Um, I don't know. I mean, the 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 area is fairly clean in there right now. <laughs> don't take long. Oh yeah, I got to put the suitcase away. I mean, it's sitting there, but it just hasn't been put away. To put it away, I have to open up the little coat closet, which is under the stairs. And the further in, the shorter it is from the floor up. Okay? And the suitcase fits way back in there. So I have to remove other stuff to put it back in. So I haven't done it yet. I'm lazy. I'm tired. I'm ugly. On the outside. Uh, my, I don't, know, I don't remember the name of it. It's a condition where you you either you pick at your skin, you pull at your hair, or you bite your nails, or pick at the cuticles, or your toenails, or whatever. And usually until you cause yourself problems, until it bleeds, or you have scabs, or something. And then when it heals up, it itches, and you rub it, and it feels good, but it, you're hurting yourself because you're perpetuating it. That's a condition. That's a real thing. I'm not the only one that has it. There's plenty of other people, even famous people that have that. But I've got these little sores on the back of my head and I itch, you know, and I start picking at them. And there is no cure for it, but there is diversion therapy. In other words, instead of these bad behaviors, you do something that's a good behavior. Like you can draw, or play music, or tap your fingers, or use a sensory toy and squeeze it. If it's an action done with your fingers, the sensory toys help. We all have things that we do and we don't realize that we do. Even like leaning on your hand, or scratching your head, or fluffing with your hair, or whatever it is. We all have something. And if, if you don't, you're a robot. Don't you dare click that square that says, I am not a robot. Yeah. How long have I talked? Too long. Four minutes and something. Okay, well, I do have some other footage. It just said I wasn't running on all cylinders today, so I just didn't bother. I need to 
get stuff done. There's a shelf in the under underneath cabinet that came loose and it's one I don't use very often. The things in there I don't use very often, but it's still annoying me. And trying to figure out where I'm going to put things that don't have a home yet and maybe having to pitch stuff. I don't know. Don't know. And I sit and worry about it and it makes me more tired. Isn't that stupid? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh yeah, this coming Monday, that's a few days from now, we're having a total solar eclipse. So, and don't look at it like Donald Trump. Oh God, I cannot stand that guy. I don't even want to hear his name. I don't want to think of him. I don't want to see him. I definitely don't want to smell him. But everything on the online is that guy, that guy, that guy, and I cannot stand him. My mom, when she was still alive, she hated him. She said, someone ought to pick him off. <laughs> oh, God. No, he and Vladimir need to uh, get together on a little boat and sink in the Balkan Sea or something. I don't know. There's more dictators in this world than I thought. I saw some other program. I'm thinking, oh my God, what hell? Mankind sure knows how to be destructive. Maybe I'm not from this earth. <laughs> I don't want to be destructive. Oh, surely. Enough is enough is enough. Yes, it is. So I'm going to go in and practice the keyboards, piano. I call it the piano, but it's a, an electric keyboard because it can play other sounds like harpsichord and marimba and all that. But I think I'll go practice some music. Music should help. Music usually does help. You take care of yourself. I'll try to have something better lined up tomorrow. I'll try to get my sleep and wake cycle back in order. <laughs> Back in order, you. Okay, sorry about that. Well, I'll catch you later. Take care. Upward and onward.